Scott here with Game and Trade. I've got John from System of a Down. He's going to assist me in unboxing our next set of water graded games. And then I'm going to convince you to sell them. Well, we'll have to see. we got to talk because uh, the, the wound is still going to be fresh and I don't want to rub salt in it. Well, fortunately, right after I cut the box, the wound will be fresh on the box to the cliffs. Enjoy the wealth of my conquest. That's what Okay, well, uh, we've got some really exciting stuff, so I'm about to set this up here. You want to do the honor? I'll tear the shit apart and just take it. Well, I'll well, be, be gentle. I'm nervous. So, what we're looking at here, um, so always cut away. No spoiler. Nice sharp knife. I get the joy out of watching others unbox things. I just want to buy stuff that's not for sale. Well, that's that's it. All right, let me let me get in there and now. Uh, sure. Can you do the honors? Yeah, sure. All right, so I'm excited, nervous, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna go straight for the meat on the ball. Or you want me to build up to it? No, give me the best one. The best one. This is. I've been in the business for 13 years, and this, at this point in time, will be the pinnacle of my collection here at MegaCon in Orlando, Florida. Are you ready for this? Yes. Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Factory sealed, water graded. The seal is an A+, the grade is an 8.5. Now, you know, our purists, may frown as oh it's an 8.5 everybody wants you know a perfect 10 but that is at least half a point lower than the ones that i've even seen available i'm i'm super like uh, well yeah I'm, I'm at least half a point higher on than what's out there so so how much do you think that's worth i when it's something like this, just like I was talking about the Excalibur, there are no more sealed copies, and any sealed copies that go up are only going to be appreciating in value. The, the you know, everyone knows about the Mario that just sold for 1.5 million. As a entry level into this historical item, I'm wanting around 40 grand. All right, well, we'll see if that's a good price or if it's I'm gonna do a little research on that. Okay, research definitely shines more light on it. Um, exorbitant, maybe the word. All right, so but we've got some more, some more great stuff in here. I've got two, uh, two that got the deep badge upgrade. Now, here's here's another one. This one's a little lower. This is an 8.0. Donkey Kong Country 2. Everyone knows this game. You know, Grand Dragon. This, this one should, yeah. This one got the deep badge upgrade that's what that is and that is based on the seal and the rarity of the item this came out at a 9.2 donkey kong country 3 diddy's conquest so that's that's a good one that's uh these are pieces of video game history so and then finite huh? finite and finite yes rare is the name of the game so and then I've got two others. Now, I really like the Final Fantasy series. Yeah, um, all the cross-referencing throughout the historical eras and everything. And I like Game Boy stuff. We've got Final Fantasy Legend 8.5 for Game Boy. Factory sealed, water graded. The seal is an A+. This is a 1998. Right there. Right there in the, uh, in the peak time that I was listening to you guys meet. Yeah, that's right around when we came out. Thank you. All right, and then this one also got the deep badge upgrade. The first two deep badges that I've ever gotten. You can probably see it better if I take it out of here. And they gave me my water sticker. I got one in my band. 9.2 Final Fantasy Adventure. And as you see, this has the KB Toys sticker still on it. Uh, I remember walking in there and seeing walls of these games man as a kid and if we could only look back and remember to like hang on and preserve these collectibles we were busy playing them right that's right we cared about looking at the box that's right now now you could play all these roms and these reproductions yes. and uh to have the authentic original item is something and that's why also when i say finite pretty soon i don't know 
couple more years, they're not even going to produce video games anymore. Yeah. Just download them or upload them. It'll all it. be digital, and then they'll sell you a license to play it. Correct. And then they'll crowd, they'll crowdsource letting people test them to fix their bugs and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, man, John, I gotta thank you for being here. Thanks, Thanks for, for being part of this. Now let's talk business. Now let's, let's talk business.